During coronavirus headlines, West Virginia's COVID numbers took another turn for the worse today. And it now appears that most people hoping to get a third vaccine dose may have to wait at least three more weeks. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. While 2,800 new people have been vaccinated since Monday, it isn't happening fast enough, according to the governor. The Mountain State logged more than 1,400 new cases since yesterday. The state is closing on an 18,000 active cases, and the number of Delta variants has passed 1,100. The governor says there is a spike in cases of young people over age 12 who've not been vaccinated. You got to help me. You got to help me get the people vaccinated. It's the only way out of this. And this thing is doing anything but getting better. It continues to get worse. 26 of the state's 55 counties now have mask mandates for schools. But Governor Justice says he'll leave those decisions to the local school boards. Meanwhile, task force members spoke with the U.S. Surgeon General Tuesday, trying to get third vaccine doses for many West Virginians and not wait until the federal distribution date of September 20th. We've got to move faster. Uh, but at this point in time, as the governor points out, we don't have any definitive uh, answer and I think a lot of it all relates down to federal liability. As of today, 3,106 people have died from COVID-19 in West Virginia. 52 of the 55 counties remain red or orange on the state alert map, signaling high COVID-19 transmission. Not all of the COVID-19 numbers are bad in West Virginia. The state has just 14 outbreaks at long-term care facilities and four outbreaks at churches. Both of those numbers are down significantly. In Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News, working for you. In a sign that many of the cases are getting younger, the governor announced the coronavirus deaths of two 34-year-old men today. One was from Monroe County, the other from Randolph County.